Yo, it's Lucas here. So I'm gonna show you how to play trade strat uh optimally. So yeah, it's pretty much the same thing as how I play my 250 game, except that there's a few things that actually change. Not much though, but yeah, it's mostly uh MP40 bucks, <coughs> but you're you're mostly gonna do it um, with a crossbow anyways. So I'm just gonna play trade strat and show you a few things. So first, I'm just gonna show you how I use the WAF while camping. I mean, <clears throat> most people know it already, but yeah. So I always start the round in the Thompson room. Not... Um, not uh, in the first room like a lot of people actually do because it's actually faster to to start it in the Thompson room so you can get straight into camping so you try to make points uh, while the trap is on by shooting uh, zombies in front of you <clears throat> and then when the trap is off just shoot with the wolf and try to get a lot of kills. Don't shoot for like three zombies. It's not worth it. It's better to wait for more zombies. At least I would say seven. <clears throat> it's always good to turn the trap on when zombies are close to the trap. So you can get more kills. So here I have six zombies or seven. I'm just gonna wait a little. You could shoot, but yeah, why not wait to get more kills? <clears throat> and I shoot again with the Thompson. With the experience, you already get the trap timing down, so you can shoot at the most optimal moments. Like sometimes the trap can still be on, and you're gonna shoot the wolf because. Uh, the trap is about to turn off and zombies aren't close to getting hit by the trap. I didn't kill it. Oof. Like here the trap is ready but I'm gonna wait. And boom. Not enough zombies so I can shoot them. Thompson, now that's enough because I saw if you want still spawning. You can shoot the dogs that are spawning behind the trap so they can run and get to the trap more quickly. <coughs> mm. It wasn't necessary to shoot just right now, but yeah. So now I'm just gonna wait because the trap is gonna be on in a second. It's on. Not enough zombies to make a good chain. Now there is. And yeah, you just keep going like that until your wolf is empty. I mean, depending on the st situation, of course. If you're about to get dogs next, uh, until like around 140, you're not gonna trade. Something like that, maybe 130. Not sure, but you will see by yourself by playing it. Depends on the situation. Now trap is on. Pretty good chain. And I have six shots left, so I should be able to turn the trap on once again. And for that, if you have like low ammo, you can just wait a little, but yeah, 
It's better to get one more trap activation when you have ammo like that. I have, I have three wolf shots. I'm just gonna shoot twice before turning the, the trap on again. Actually, once. Most of the time, it would be twice. shot it's better to shoot it in the thompson room and not while leaving the trap depending on the box location but now it's at power so it's better uh, wait you need a good mo good timing to leave the room so it's good you try to false out of course so you don't lose time Yeah, you start hitting the, the, the box, you wait for the zombies to get close, and you take your weapon. And you remove the, the weapons that aren't from the box. And you always pay attention to when the trap turns off. And now you're just gonna hold up here. And you kill the dogs too. That's a few extra kills. And the dogs can be pretty annoying. So you gotta kill them anyways. And once the trap is ready, you would just turn it on. Just like that. It's better to actually hit the box and then turn it on, but it was ready already now, so why not just do it now? And you do it you do it again. So I'm just gonna do one one more loop. And if you get the wolf like right now, you turn the trap on a long time ago. So you're just gonna get the chili bolter and and leave but if like you kill the hold with the trap and you get the wolf um <clears throat> when you kill the hold you can just jump into the trap again just like when you play free traps it's nice to have a speed weapon here or at least or maybe like have a crossbow there's two zombies i'm just waiting and I hit again, turn the trap on, I can check what's in there. And yeah. <clears throat> you see how it is. So I'm just gonna change the box location. Let's say the box moves and goes to Thompson. Actually, might just not change just like that yeah okay I'm just gonna okay the box is moving to Thompson of course you don't know what, what I just did right now just because I was figuring how uh, figuring out how it works with the, the strat tester from five and five make the box moves move sorry Okay, the box is at Thompson. You don't need to wait that much, but yeah. So you turn the trap on, and basically you're gonna hold up while hitting the, the box. You can repair a few times here while you hit the box. And you always pay attention to the window at the furnace. And there's a nice cutback that you can do here, but depending on the spawns at that window, it can be a bit sketchy. It just depends on the situation. But yeah, there's a cutback, and you have most of the zombies, actually the full hold, so you go to the trap. And you're just gonna use the trap and go back to the Thompson room. 
there we go. If you get the wolf, um, depending on the situation, you have time to kill the hold, but most of the time when I have the wolf, I don't even try it. And I... <clears throat> and I just take the wolf and shoot twice to the hold, so there's full zombies left, and then I wait for the zombies spawning here to come, so I can hit the trap. So now I'm just gonna show... Um, yeah, let's say the trench. Let's say the box cannot move. Alright. So you're just gonna wait until the trap turns off. So you can you can actually exit the Thompson room as fast as possible. Alright. The speed away pen, that's good. I wanted to hit the trench. <laughs> Okay, okay, but it might actually just be random. Not sure. Oh, yeah. Let's say I'm actually yeah, just gonna show the MP40 box instead. That's good. That's the most important box to show. So you exit the Thompson room, and what I was doing in the 250 game, I hit the box like three or four times depending on the situation. And then I take the teleporter, and then I wait for the zombies to come, and I go to the Thompson room. But why, what you do, you can actually hit the box five times. Like I'm gonna do right now, so you repair this window, and the zombies coming from here. Just pay attention to them. I got the crossbow, but I'm gonna do it without the crossbow. But yeah, what I'm gonna do right now something pretty risky so it's better to do it with the crossbow so just depending on the situation yeah i got the right screen but you're supposed to do that and not get the right screen just because i got too greedy but yeah <clears throat> you're supposed to hold up kind of like that i actually did six hits i think but you're supposed to do five hits like that and then get to the trap and it's gonna be ready when you get rocks here so you can kill an extra hold but yeah if you want you can stay there and keep hitting the box like if you may get dogs next uh it's something that you, that you can do <clears throat> but yeah most of the time you're not gonna you're not gonna stay at the box for more than five hits i just didn't pay attention to the amount of hits to be honest you Make sure you kill the dogs that are spawning because they can be pretty painful. So I'm gonna hit the box twice more. I mean another two times. So you can do that too. You can do a big jump to hit the box again. You can even hit another time. And you can check what's inside the box. Just like that. So yeah, the plan is to actually hold up in the MP40 room. And to kill an extra hold like that. It's faster in the long run compared to what I was doing on my 250 game. And you also hit the box more. So yeah, it's double game time. just gonna do it once again I'm not even sure if I actually hit the box six or five times again this time but yeah 
<clears throat> Most of the time, you're supposed to do five. And I advise you to do it with a crossbow only because it can be pretty sketchy. Except if you're going for like 100 SR, if you have massive balls. Oh. Actually, no zombies spawn here. That's pretty weird. My wolf luck, though. <laughs> pretty classic. Oh. So that's three hits. And yeah, I can leave the room already. And the trap just turned on. So there we go. Alright, let's make the box move at the trench if it wants to. <laughs> okay, trench. Just gonna no clip there so I can make the box move. Not gonna waste. Oh, so the box moved already? Oh, it didn't work last time, so yeah, I was wondering why. Anyways, <laughs> I'm not really used to modding as you can see. And also, yeah, you're supposed to, to shoot zombies when you can to make points. I tend to forget about it when I'm on modded games. But yeah, you're supposed to try to make as much points as, as possible. Of course, don't take risks just to make points. So I killed the hold with the Thompson trap. And so you go as fast as possible to the trench box. So if you jump at the right time, just like I did. We're gonna be able to be out like that. Uh, looks can move. Nope. So you wanna repair like two bars here and two bars here also. But I already hit the box twice. So you hit the box three times and you leave. And you, if you get the wolf, yeah, you can just come back and get it. And most of the time, it would be fine to jump into that trap. Be careful because some zombies can spawn here. The zombies will spawn in the first room though. So you're fine. That's a good example for when, to, when you get the wolf. Um. But yeah, you're supposed to hit the box three times. Just like I did, then you go to your jug, you check what's in the box. If it's not the wolf, uh, you just go to double tap and you wait a little and then you jump off and you go to Thompson room, uh, Thompson room again. So I'm just gonna do it now, even if I get the wolf. It's twice and you repair this one you go up there can be a few zombies and yep then you go to double tap you can check if there are zombies still dying in the trap and when you see the last ones you can just jump off there you go <clears throat> and there's also one thing I kind of like to do. It's a way to hit the box four times at trench. But it's pretty random. I guess you can do it with a crossbow. Or, 
Yeah, just take risk on early game, for example. So I'm gonna do it right now. Bed. <laughs> okay. So one hit, repair, two hits, you kill the dogs, you repair. I got a wolf, that's cool, but let's say I'm doing a fourth hit. Okay. And then the trap will turn off, and most of the time you can actually leave. So there we go. That's two ways to hit the trench box. One way you do four times, and the other way you do three. Most of the time you're gonna do three, but yeah, I actually found that I found out the four hits way while playing uh, my last game but yeah so i just wanted to show it real quick um so box location i showed thompson yeah i just have to show uh catwalk and 500 actually so let's say the box is at catwalk so bowie uh okay I have two box locations. It's that's fun. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so as always, you try to make points. So let's make that the box doesn't move. All right. So you try to make points with the weapons you get from the box, of course. So with a speed weapon, you can actually free hits this box, but it depends on the spawns. But most of the time, you're gonna get two hits. So if there's one zombie, you can repair three times, you hit, and then you get the weapon, then you come back, then you have to place three buyers. So second time, and then if you manage to hit a third time, you can drop down here, check what's in the box, and then you teleport. But that's just when you get good enough spawns to hit three times. And then you have plenty of time to make points if you have a weapon that's good enough for it. Not like me. But yeah, doing free hits at the, at the Bowie box, the catwalk. Um, and also to the port cost a lot of points, but yeah, it's worth it, of course. I'm just gonna show when you hit twice now, even with uh, if uh, with a speed weapon, you can hit three times actually quite often. There's no zombie, I just repair once, I get the but uh. The weapon. Okay. So you let zombies come out. Second hit. Check what's in the box. If it's a wolf, you have time to get it. And now the trap turns off. And you're good. And there's also one thing that you can do. If you have a crossbow, you can just spam the crossbow to hit the box. 
as, as much as you can at the catwalk. It's a pretty good location to do it. I would say you should do it at the catwalk and also at the type 100. So, talking about type 100, let's make the, bo uh, the box move here. I'm gonna show you how to hit the type 100 box. Which is by far the, lo uh, the box location that makes you lose the, mo the most time. So you can do between 2 and 3 hits, just like at the catwalk, depending on spawns. But when you do 3 hits, uh, I advise you to have at least one monkey, because else almost 100% of the time you're not gonna be able to grab the weapon if it's worth. So you hit the box, and then you repair. Kill the dogs. Oh, there's a zombie that got here pretty early. But yeah, you still have time to grab uh, your weapon. It's also important to always repair those two bars. And if you have time on high rounds, not on the low rounds, to be honest. But on the higher rounds, you can also turn the third trap on. So you get a bit more kills. Okay. You have to wait quite a lot. So uh, the Tom Tom trap can make a lot of kills. Try to make points, of course, because <laughs> you will always need points, even after instas. Instas don't give you enough points to stop making points after. But like on Kino, for example, when you can completely stop making points if you play uh, none of us. Which is pretty sick. Okay. gonna be free hit but a pretty risky one and I saw what's in the box and I can see the bot and if it was the wolf I could have run a monkey so yeah I'm also gonna and I could have turned this trap on too so I'm gonna show one last thing it's how to, to actually play the type 100 box more optimized but it's pretty risky and yeah since you have to pay attention to box R anyways um, and you're not gonna like full trade the whole time I mean you're still gonna play trade straight the whole time but like there's a lot of time you're gonna play free traps to avoid uh, trading when it's like dogs on next round or something but technically it's more optimized uh, more optimized so it would be to full horde at type 100 so basically you're not gonna turn this trap on and you're just gonna run straight to the box it's better to have a, sp a speed weapon to do it but it's also possible without a speed weapon. Like with the Reagan in your hands. Uh, just one thing, if you have the crossbow, 
the best box to use it on is this one and you shoot the crossbow here until all the zombies drop down there at power and ha <laughs> yeah and after when they come back you should still shoot the bow until the box moves or until you get the wolf so here if you just hold up all the zombies and once you have them all you hit the box once you're gonna wall run then get the weapon slow them down even if you take a few hits and you do that doing this you can have a lot of bleed outs so that's why it's pretty risky and you can also shoot if you have like an auto weapon something like that to slow them down it's pretty good I'm gonna show you that you can do it without a speed weapon but it's more risky of course But yeah, as you can see, it's also doable. So yeah, technically it would be better to do that. Because it's the box location that makes you lose the most time. But yeah. I'm not getting the doubts actually right now, but there's sometimes a lot, of, a lot of zombies just bleed out at the same time. It can be good to do that when you have dogs next and your trade is getting too long. And you really need the wolf. Anyways, um, I'm just gonna show you how to use the crossbow for that box location. I'm just gonna wait for all the zombies to drop down. At least, at least most of them. <laughs> and yeah. So let's say you come from the Thompson box. You hit the trap, of course, as you can see. Try to get to the box as, as quick as possible. You can hit the box like once or two, I mean, mostly, most of the time, twice. Sometimes three, but yeah. So, you can shoot there for the first bow if you're in a bad, in a bad situation and then you're gonna shoot there. And you have to kill the dog as quickly as you can if there's a dog spawning because else you have a respawner just like I got. You can also do that with monkeys, of course. And yeah, w once you saw all the zombies actually drop down. Well, you can stop shooting the bow. At least for some time. They all drop down. Using the bow costs you a lot of points, but it's pretty much... Yeah, it's pretty worth it. So you can spam the box when it's at... A bad location like Type 100. Some zombies are getting close. I'm just gonna hit once more. 
And I'm gonna shoot again. So you can make them drop down a second time. If the box really takes too long. Most of the time it won't even be necessary, but... Because the box is gonna move. It's not moving right now because... I'm modding, but <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it can be helpful if you have a really long type 100 box. And as you can see, they drop down a second time. So... We are good. And I'm just gonna show you how to do it um, at Catwalk. So there's two situations with uh, the catwall box actually. So most of the time you're gonna like leave Thompson and go to power and boom. But if for example the box was at Thompson, it moves or it was like at, I don't know, trench. It moves and then goes to catwalk and you get to double tap. Well, you're gonna wait until you see the box spawning and then you're gonna run fast to the trap and must and what you do when you actually go to the catwalk from the, from double tap you repair the window first and then you hit the box okay i fucked up right now but yeah most of the time you're you're supposed to be able to get uh to get um to to trap uh no to box it so yeah, after you turn the trap on, well, when zombies, you still try to repair the window, but when zombies get close to you, you shoot the bow. And yeah, you keep hitting the box until you get the wolf. Um, I'm just gonna show you one more thing. That's how I back up and the the wolf. So, yeah, let's say Thompson. Mm -hmm. Right, because I need to do this. Uh, I'm such a modder. All right. Okay. Um. Oh, actually, I just need to get the wolf. I should have put a bind to actually give myself the wolf. Okay. Since I can't use the console. Wait. Um, game. Box locations. Box can move. No. <laughs> My trades really are all or nothing. Right. So let's say I have like two wolf shots left. Doesn't actually matter, but yeah. You just empty uh, the wolf in the Thompson room, you turn the trap on. Bam. Sometimes you can have an empty wolf hit now. Sometimes you can still have one 
Rough shot. Pretty much the same, but yeah, let's say it's empty. You just draft like that and you pack a punch the, the wolf. And then you have time to get it back. And then you just play free tra uh, I mean, do free traps and come back here. But for example, Okay. Let's say when you go to pack a punch your wolf, uh, you're here, you're about to leave the room because the trap is off and you, sh you can shoot once in front of you. But if you do that, there will be a lot of zombies actually. Um, I don't uh, know, a lot of dogs actually spawning in the first room. I mean, sometimes it's really random. Yeah, let's say you do that, then your wolf is empty. You can still pack a punch, even if there's a lot of dogs. Right now, it's pretty fine, but sometimes I already got like eight dogs spawning, some shit like that. And it was alright. So another thing you can do if you manage to, to, to miss the strafe. You can turn the trap on, and for example, you can go to MP40. Ooh, two bucks. You wait for the zombies to actually uh, go into the trap. Then you can just teleport. You lay down because you get hit less, and then you just pack a punch. I don't do it with the MP40 teleporter. Most of the time, uh, if I miss the strafe, um, let's say you're at double tap, you drop down after using the second trap. I'm just gonna wait for zombies. And then I'm just gonna turn this trap on. I'm gonna wait here so more zombies spawn behind the trap. Then I will go to the teleporter. I'm gonna wait. And when zombies get close to you, you can just turn the teleporter on. And then you can pack a punch. And you gotta be careful because some zombies will come here like that. If you don't want that to happen, you will probably get a bit less kills with the trap. After you after you turn the third trap on, what you can do is run here at the bowie. Here. So less zombies will uh, spawn behind the trap and you can actually turn the chili bolter on uh, faster or there's the last option let's say you miss this trap here so you run at the second trap you can just turn it on and then you go straight to that chili bolter you just run 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 and by the time you get to the chili bolter all the zombies at the second trap would be dead and and you would be able to to pack a punch really fine but yeah the best thing to do is not uh, is to not miss the the strap of course let's not talk about this strap that's literally useless i mean it's not really useless because sometimes um Like sometimes if you hit the MP40 box. Actually, I know sometimes it can be a bit useful, but I don't remember why. But yeah, so you can see how useful is it. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, I think I showed enough things about trade strat. How long have I been recalling for? 45 minutes. Wow.
uh, yeah. So I was trying to explain a few things. Uh, I showed how how to play all the box locations, a few ways to play, to play some of them, and yeah, I think that's all. Like how to play them more optimized or not, uh, more safe. But most of the time, it's just for optimization, of course. And just a few things that I could think of. Uh, I'm sorry if I forgot a few things, but I think I really said most of it. Because I'm thinking about everything I said and I cannot think about something else. Um, yeah, if you have any question. Like you can tell me why do you do that in the video in the video at <laughs> why the fuck am I <laughs> speaking like that? But yeah, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Well I can just explain to you. And yeah, if you have any question about there is or actually even another map, you can just ask me uh in the comments. I will read everything anyways. So yeah. That's all for me. Uh, hope you have a great day, great night, whatever. And bye-bye.